All right, Jeep Speed Shop here. Here to talk about our eight-speed wiring harness. Now, like I said, this is going to be this is a generic harness. We're going to be using it in a lot of things. Right now, we're using it in the JK, and we might refine it later. But this is what we're using right now, and this is how we're doing it. So, we're going to start with this plug first. This plug here goes to the the shifter for the Challenger. Now this is for the eight speed Challenger and it doesn't matter if it's a six cylinder or V8, but this is the plug that goes into the shifter for one, all right? Here we have the ALDL connector for the transmission, okay? Now, here's the next one. So there's 10 wires here and we're only gonna be utilizing two, okay? One's for the reverse lights and the other one's for the park brake input. The rest of the wires, tape them up inside like this. We don't need those right now. So for now, this is how we're doing it to prep for putting it inside the Jeep JK. All right, next plug. Here's our interface plug to hook to a laptop. Keep it capped for now, keep it to a place where you can access it later in case we have to make any changes. All right, next plug. So what we do with this one, we actually took it apart. Okay, we took the lock ring off, or the the lock hold down ring off so that we can run it through the floor. Okay, because we're gonna be running it through the floor where the old shift cable went when it had an automatic transmission. So this is gonna go through the floor. Okay, the next set of wires that we need to use. This is the one that we're gonna use that's gonna hook to our CAN bus and underneath the console, all right? So we're gonna cut this gray plug off and these two wires are going to hook to our CAN bus, and we'll talk that talk about that in a future video. These two we're not using, so tape them aside and kind of get them up out of the way underneath the console. There's plenty of room. All right, the next thing that we're going to need to do. So here we had two fuses that we're not going to use underneath the console. So we're planning on taking these out because. Uh, it's gonna be too hard if you blow a fuse that's under the console it'd be just uh, it'd be a nightmare so for now we're cutting these out and then what we're gonna do is lengthen that wire six feet and we're gonna go to the tip of them and we'll show you that connection in a future video that that's a ground we're gonna run that ground inside the Jeep to a known ground lug and we'll show you that also in a future video but don't forget that is a ground so Remember, lengthen these wires, well, I'd say about six feet. We're gonna run them to the tip them, all right? Now this right here is the interface or the module plug, which is gonna be mounted in the floor that we showed in the video before this. All right, this is the plug that's gonna, you know, we're gonna hook the um, this plug to the module. And this is pretty much the wiring layout for the Jeep JK in an eight speed, all right? Pretty simple but it's a little more complex than doing a 545 or a 65. But in the long run, this is definitely a lot better transmission. So there's a little bit of wiring to do. And if you're doing it yourself, it's nice to be comfortable with what we got going on here. All right, so Jeep Speed Shop out.